The long trek to partial freedom for the embattled Youth Affairs Principal Secretary and NYS Director General is far from over. Despite being granted stringent bail terms, the two had been cleared for release after posting a bond of 5 million shillings, sureties of 2 million shillings and a deposit of 1 million shillings cash bail in court. But the DPP has dropped a bombshell on the NYS suspects objecting to their release. Nurdin Haji asking the court not to verify the security posted by the accused claiming they were suspect and subject to the ongoing cases. This follows the DPP's warning on Wednesday against the release of the suspects without a proper verification of the monies presented to ascertain if they were not proceeds of crime. Uh, there is a particular account and I can table that letter from the ARA to the legal committee that indicated a particular account received over 100 billion uh, and 3 million cash was withdrawn. And the reasons given to the bank was that this money is to pay for bail. And this was way before bail uh, issues were discussed yes, in, in, in the judgment. The country's chief prosecutor asking the director of criminal investigations, George Kinoti, to screen sources of the funds the suspects will deposit in court. The DCI required to confirm the validity and legitimacy of the securities and funds presented on behalf of the 47 accused persons. That those who are going to face the law um, do not use proceeds uh, of crime. Uh, to, to, and this is to, uh, to show that we, we are serious. Once released from remand, the accused persons will have to report to the DCI offices in Gigiri once every week until further orders are issued by the court. In a task warning by the court, none of the suspects should visit their former offices unless accompanied by a police officer and that they should not contact, whether directly or otherwise, any of the staff or witnesses in the case. The DPP's fresh request to be determined on Friday. Samogina Citizen Live at 9.